Um, maybe we shouldn't. Well, I mean, at boys' camp, we didn't always bother with bathing suits. <gasps> Your ski class must have been interesting. <laughs> What's going on here? Very nice. Mm. I told the kids a hundred times to keep these things out of the pool area. Mm. Go to class around here? Normally, men aren't allowed up here, but uh, the girls are in class. You're safe. Oh, that's what you said when your father caught us hiding in his car. <laughs> How did I know that Dad was going to go to work? Or... Mm. <laughs> anyway, what's that? Sounded like it came from in here. <laughs> Sounds like a male. I didn't hear a boy in here, did I, Rebecca? A boy? Oh, that's a laugh. Hey, Rebecca, there's no lights. How are you? I complained to the... Dean. I found him wandering around. He said he was lost. And we came back here to get a map. Explain the towel. 50% cotton, 50%... Okay, I'll tell you the truth. I was at the pool and I fell in. And this young student was kind enough to offer me a towel. I don't believe you. Ask Andrew, he'll tell you. Have you ever gone to a real school? Well, I love it here. The teachers are great and it's a quaint town and I don't have to shop for three years. <laughs> Pass me that planet, would you? Yeah. Oh, Dr. J! I'd like you to meet... How was I to know she was his niece? She was so much fun! His niece? Fun! Is that all you want from girls, is fun? Well, my niece is not here to have fun, especially with you! She's here to study! Penny! Andrew, tell him I fell in the pool. You fell in the pool? Thanks a lot. Doc? Dr. Jeff Goat? What's it going to take for you to... We have two hours to get this thing up and running. Let's get to it. I gotta go. Yeah, I'll stay in rest. Let's bust out of this prison. What about your uncle? I don't think he'll want to come. I mean, if he finds out? Well, let's not let him find out. Loosen up. You're as bad as him. The parking lot, ten minutes, we roll in eleven. I can see why she and Kirk get along. I can't miss us. We'll be the ones in the green uniforms. Excuse me, Dr. J. Can you explain why this thing's so cold? Why, do you want to take it out on a date? Give him a break, Dr. J. He's trying to help. Fine, then go to the van and bring back some RS-232s. Big ones are the... Wait, what is that? It's a nine pin... It's a thick cable with a big doohickey at the end. Right. Those. Uh, Dr. J? Would you mind if Kirk and I went out and got something to eat? Now? We still have a lot of work to do.
And roll. Now? Be back in an hour. What's she got under the hood? I'll slow down to 30, you can jump out and check. <laughs> what does the manual say? I never read it. I like to discover as I go. I felt the same way till I took up glass blowing. Oh, please. Well, Andrew and his friend were supposed to be here half an hour ago. There's no way I can operate this equipment and narrate my lecture at the same time. I'm sure there's something we can do. Yes, I think there is something we could do. We could cancel the show. Benjamin, you used to be so positive. I'm still positive. I'm positive that this thing is going to set that thing on fire if Andrew doesn't get here in time to operate these things. Now, what happened to that carefree guy who wanted to hitchhike across the world? Climb Mount Everest, free fall from 20,000 feet? Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Rebecca liked that guy, too. Oh, come on. Rebecca's just like I am. Hardworking, responsible, and cute. I hope you won't be too hard on her because Kirk was in her room. I'm sure it wasn't her idea. Really? Well, he, he's just a little impetuous. Act first, think later. A kid like that could be dangerous. As opposed to a young girl, he could also be attractive. You're absolutely right. I don't believe you ran out of gas. She's a woman after my own heart. No, I didn't plan this. I really ran out. We'll let them believe that. Well, what are we going to do now? I know. We'll all take bets on how long it takes us to freeze to death. No problem. We passed a gas station four miles back. We actually are out of gas? Oh. There's no way we're going to make it back for Doc's presentation. I'll go find that gas station. Why you? You want to go? No. Okay. Now we all know the best way to survive the cold is body heat. Ladies? Whoa. <sighs> 